Hi Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and get right into this channel message. I'm not even going to do all that talking. Everything you need to know about me is down below. If you want to book a personal reading, check out the Metaphysical Shop. Um, purchase some sage, spiritual baths, candles, etc. Um, crystals as well. All that stuff is down below. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into this channel message. All right. Um, I'm actually going to start with some chakra wisdom cards here because i just want to know the reason um but you read the title you know exactly what's going on um somebody is intentionally trying to uh give you a hard time yeah you got somebody who's going out of their way here um to minimize you to ignore you to give you a hard time or more importantly to make you seem as if you are a standout or you know um you're not a part of this or you know you're not allowed here or i don't want you here i don't want this i don't want this i don't like you or whatever it may be here but for some of you guys i'm getting this is in a corporate setting this is in a business setting this is in a job setting um this is in a career setting this is in a um legal setting this is in something where like things are serious um like somebody who worked for the world trade center Somebody could work a job where like, um, and then I have to, at the bottom of the deck, I have connected spirit. So I feel like, like I said, it's a channel message directly from spirit. Um, yeah, this is, this is affecting your abundance or affecting your money, um, or, you know, your material realm, him, him here. Okay. I thought this is what, this is what this is about. Like somebody's intentionally trying to not only affect your abundance here, but like somebody thinks that like, you're not too in tuned or, you know, somehow, some way. Like, they want you to be overlooked. Or somebody wants you to seem as if, you know, they just want you to sit down or play coy or, like, um, you know how people tell dogs, okay, roll over, okay, scratch, okay, this, okay, that. Like, somebody wants you to be, like, when they say jump, you jump. When they say do this, you do that. You know, this could, could be somebody here who, like, um, they want you to feel as if you don't have the skills they have, you don't have the money they have, you don't have the resources they have, or you don't have the experience they have. You don't have the position they have. You don't have the money they have. You don't have the tax bracket they have. There's something along the lines as to where you don't have this, but like this person views you as a threat, a threat to their abundance, a threat to a threat to what they deserve, a, a, a threat to what they require. Yeah, your spirit guides are here. Your spirit guides are showing up here. Yeah, or like more important, this could be like a threat to like how people view them. Like this could be somebody who people like love them, love their work, love what they do, um, love how they act, love when this person's around, loves getting this person's help, or somehow um they cater to this person or they have some type of um allegiance that people um uh, give towards them. Yeah, I have the key. Like this person thinks they have the key to the streets, okay, or the key to people's hearts, or like you know the hearts um of the masses. And then I have the number 14, which is like gingerbread here. So the gingerbread man. And this person may view you as the gingerbread man. And like this person is somebody who's like, do you know the gingerbread man? Like this could be somebody who views you as childish. You could be like small. You could be petite. Um, You could be younger than them. Or they just feel like you are you haven't reached your peak. You haven't reached your moment. Or, you know, somehow some way you're not where they are. And this is somebody here who's trying to get in the way of you getting new opportunities. Or more importantly, get in the way of you... um. Um, being compassionate, showing compassion, or, you know, um, receiving this, all right? Or this could be an energy of, like, you getting your accolades, getting your flowers, or you being seen as competent, reliable, good at your job, good at what you do, um, good in some type of way, or, like, seeing you as balanced here, or, like, um, you know, you're not all over the place. Yeah. This could be happening in the present time being here, but I feel like your spirit guides are telling you that whoever this person is very committed to this, all right very very committed to this yeah for some of you guys here this could be going on in your hometown or wherever the environment is or the person or whatever it is something is supposed to be home to either you or them and something is uh you know and i find this person could be trying to attack you mentally as well too so that somehow some way i'm also hearing tree home 95 that song by Todd the creator is of significance but yeah they're trying to attack you in this way to where more importantly you're not seen as gold or there is a divine intervention that will be happening or has already happened. All right. But this is somebody who, like I said, they want you to be unnecessarily worried. Oh, this person is worried about you. You are spiritually protected, but this person is worried about you and your progress and what's going on. But this is somebody here who, more importantly, 
And since I feel the fear and I do it anyways, you could be somebody here who like, even if you're scared or you're uncertain or you're in a new environment or like something of the sort or something gets new and exciting or, you know, you are somebody who you take your destiny very fucking seriously. Where you're going, who you're going, where you've been, what you're learning, whatever it is. You take that shit very, I don't know why I keep putting these cards back in here and it's not the sleeve that it goes in. That could be a significance here. Um, or you're trying to box you in or place you somewhere where you don't belong here or trying to make you seem as that sort. Um, but yeah, details, clarity is in of, of, of significance or of understanding here or something needs to, somebody needs to dig deep here. Yeah. Because whoever this person is doing this, they see you as a threat. Like you may be fearful. I don't think you're scared of this person, but I feel like you could be like having fear or anxiety um, because of the environment you're in, because of what's going on around you, because of how important something is. Okay, or uh, something of the sort like that. Or, you know, how this will affect your destiny, the possibilities here, kind of like what you have created or, you know, whatever changes that are needed for you to overcome or to adjust or adapt to something or get a certain outcome. Like for some of you guys, it's getting for me going as far as, uh, you know, this professor is going out of their way to do all this stuff, but you need this class to pass or to graduate, whatever it is, or something you need to move on and move forward or, you know, something of that sort. Okay, it doesn't have to be a class, it could be anything, take it how it resonates. But I'm literally getting this energy as like you have the divine force, the divinity, the energy, the protection thrown flowing through you okay collective and i feel like this is somebody here who like whatever you choose say whatever you respond with or you know um whatever's going on in your life it irritates this person so whatever you respond but like, somebody can ask a question and they think that you're the only they're the only person who knows the answer or can solve the mystery or has this done or whatever it is and i feel like you're right on point you're right there with them that pisses them off like like you know how um for example somebody could be needing to get something done and they're like none of you fucking did it and you're like well my throat chakra i did it or i got it done or with the justice card i'm on point or you know um this is somebody here who like you you cross all your teeth and dot all your eyes and make sure that um your shit is together before you even open your mouth before you come against this person or even before you deal with them because you know how they are it's gonna be somebody here as well who is trying to affect your uh spiritual mental emotional and physical well-being here so like whatever you respond to whether this is like a fact information they ask you a question or this could be like a rhetorical question that just you in inside you talking you giving information you whatever you're doing is pissing this person off or it always pisses them off they always didn't like you or you know it's becoming really irritating to them because i feel like you know exactly what you're talking about here or like you're somebody here who like you're bright you're bushy tail you're calm and knowing that everything that you know or more importantly you contemplate and you meditate on this fact but it's somebody here who like you may try to harmonize with them you may try to um you know get together with them or whatever it is but i feel like 10 10 this, this person you may even once upon a time or it's to be you currently trying to like get on the same page as the person or you're not sure you don't get on my bad side or whatever's going on or not sure how to be needy or irritating or whatever the fuck it is whatever you're doing here but that i feel like 10 10 the angel number significance that's not going to help or this person don't give a fuck about that i feel like the warmth and sincerity and you know the way that you nurture and respect people relationships boundaries all that stuff this person does not do any of that and there's somebody here who hasn't done that for a while. They also don't offer care or support um, that people need. Um, there's somebody here who, like, they don't rescue you. They don't help you. They don't save you. don't give you support. They don't give you a crutch. And there's going to be somebody here who they don't smile at you. They don't be kind-hearted towards you unless somebody's looking or paying attention. Or they're in front of somebody who's over their head. Or somebody here who, um, you know, sees them in a certain type of way. But I feel like you're somebody here you're open to sharing, accepting, communicating, connecting with other people. And this person don't like when you do that. Or they don't like that, period. Um... Yeah, whoever this person is, I feel like you you guys have a contract, but I feel like this contract, this lifetime, this is somebody here who their goal is somehow to hurt your feelings here, make you go through emotional loss or like some type of foundation, achievement, or the material realm, something of that sort. Um, their goal is to destroy this for you and make you a uh, self-destruct. Okay. I don't know I'm hearing the word absorption. Like this is somebody who's trying to like absorb you. You know how in the stomach you have stomach acids, gases, all those things that absorb the food. So it breaks it down. This person could be trying to break you down slowly but surely here. All right. And get you to be emotionally drawn. Or like you could be somebody who you're very emotional. You're very loving. You're very caring. And somebody here wants you to like kill, wants to like kill that part in you. 
or like doesn't want you to be in that way the number 17 could be a significance here um but yeah i feel like this is somebody here who also wants you to like move on or get away from them or, or quit or move or change your job or change your experience or don't do business with them or close down your shop or whatever the fuck it is here okay and they're hoping and praying and wishing on that because i feel like more material harvest money uh accolades or whatever it is comes to them if this happens um this could be something they're planning here or like more importantly but you have a plan too you have a plan to keep on going you have a plan to get your wishes you don't care what hurt pain or what you got to sacrifice or what temptations is around you you're going to make the right choice every month at the time because you notice the spiritual or strength building um what do you call it uh experience there or this is like character development on your spiritual path the chakras we have here we have the first the second the third the fourth the fifth and the seventh the only person we don't have is the sixth chakra so i feel like third eye you may be seeing this here you can see past this person visual visually pleasing masterpiece here or who they are visually or their mask or whatever it is but the other chakras either are um over um overactive or underactive all right, but this person definitely needs to work on their sacral and they need to work on their throat chakra as well too while they worry about you. But I feel like this is destined for you to be successful in some type of way or whatever this is. But you do have this person here who's going out of their way or will go out of their way to make sure that you are not or try to break you down in this type of way. Um, this isn't going to be a long message, but yeah, this is a channel message here. We have the crown chakra card. This is a channel message. And we also have connect with spirit. I showed you guys the card earlier, but I feel like what's going on balance. You have to make sure you're keeping your balance. You're keeping your composure here. All right. For some of you guys who you may even want to go into solitude here. You could be studying a lot, looking at a lot of information, paperwork, document, or sensitive information here. Or you may want to brush up on this, but I feel like the shadow... <laughs> Hmm. the shadow card this person is like letting their shadow self lead their life or like they have let their shadow self take over for quite some time here so knowingly or unknowingly this is what they're doing here but i feel like this is something whatever the, whatever the situation is regarding here um your passion about something someone or getting something done is what's going to catapult you towards multiple new beginnings multiple new chances, multiple new this multiple new that all right, but whoever this person is, this is somebody here who knows that you're fertile, knows this is what you're planning to do, this is what you're here to do, or this is what's going to happen here. And they're trying to make sure, like, yeah, this is some type of authority figure in some type of way, or they're close knit with this person. This person trying to make sure that you don't be successful, or they could be close knit with them, sacral shock, or trying to make sure you don't creatively manifest anything, trying to somehow put you in a cage or make you experience some type of mental anguish, okay, envy, or some type of a deception here, so that they can automatically sacrifice you or they're trying to sacrifice you. But I feel like somebody's watching them. Or like they're trying to make financial material changes here for you happen but i feel like it's going to be happening to them instead because this person wants you to suffer in silence so they've done this to other people and other people have suffered in silence or walked away or whatever it is or let them win but i feel like this is not going to happen with you it's not going to happen with you it's not it's not going to happen with you so if you like think it's going to happen with you it's not going to happen with you all right but i feel like yeah you are destined here to be successful in this outcome so i feel like it's either you be sacrificed or they be sacrificed but it's not going to happen once you so somehow this person is going to be removed they're going to be sacrificed this will be backfiring on this person or people involved here all right who are trying to affect your material spiritual realm your destiny or destined path here all right because that's just the truth yeah root chakra i feel like motherfuckers here are going to have somebody's going to have a mental breakdown here or somebody's going to be mentally in their head a lot here all right when she hits the fan when they realize that bitch do you know who the fuck you fucking with do you know who you fucking with I, I hope you do know because you're about to find out. Yeah, I feel like they're intentionally putting obstacles and challenges in your life or in your path here. Whoever this authority figure is here. And they're doing it slowly but surely or using some type of patience here. Like you being patient with them and they're not being patient with you. Or like they are, but it's like in a different type of weird ass way. But like I said, you will go through the transformation here. You will have this firm foundation. And everything will work out for you. But I feel like, guess what? This was somebody's last time doing this shit. Four cups. Find you something safe to do. Find you something better to do. To be fucking with me. This is somebody's last shit. But some of you guys, somebody may be getting fired. They may go to jail. They may get disbarred. They may end up losing their license. Okay, they're going to find out about this. Somebody's going to lose a big client, a big business deal. Somebody's company may actually be literally, uh, there may be like some type of social shit going on about somebody's company. Or this truth is going to be revealed. This is what this person is doing here. This will be revealed here. All right. This is like a little mini message. All right, I guess because it's not that long, but this is the channel message. Yeah, this, this is going to be revealed. It definitely is. On the extent that somebody would go to. 
especially regarding you and you ain't did shit to this person or you're not doing a damn thing this will be revealed here i feel like whoever this person is um they think that they're not going to get caught because like i said they do this thing where they give people unconditional love or like people who are important or whatever it is they show them unconditional love and uh, favor and well-being or they try to uh keep up with these people well-being hey how are you how are you doing have pity patty fake ass conversations and shit and do all this act like they have people's uh best interest in heart when they don't and patience i feel like they've been doing this for a long time or like more importantly here they're very patient or with their approach and they um follow their instincts or how like um the energy feels like the person knows how to read a room they just literally don't give a fuck all right but this yeah ignorance is bliss i feel like this person's been dealing with this bliss or having this bliss for quite some time baby like, this whole little mirror this whole little facade whatever they got going on it's about to be shattered you or somebody else is going to be shattered here i have creative expression yeah instinct i feel like what's going on somebody's going to speak on this or say something about it you're going to have the opportunity to okay or somebody else is going to see it who's on this person's same level on what this person's trying to do and they're going to intervene and, and something is going to happen to this person because don't, don't get me wrong this person has wisdom they have discernment they have feelings here all right but it's like they don't give a fuck because this person has some type of personal power that they they don't mind throwing around or throwing your weight around yeah this person is also somebody as well who like they don't want you to accept themselves this person could be acting like they're self-sufficient they're independent they do everything by themselves they lead a very um independent or interesting life but this person has self-esteem self-confidence issues the ones that you don't have and this person could be trying to ruin your foundation because of this because you accept yourself or you know exactly what's going on you could be self-sufficient just like them here but you try to keep them included or something of the sort or you try to keep up with everybody else or you know whatever it is but they hate that as well but yeah somebody's personal power and your self-confidence is clashing and this has nothing to do with you but yeah something's going to happen adverse to this person yeah also for some of you guys here this person could also be doing all this because sexually they're interested in you or they have a crush on you um for a small 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 percentage you guys either they're into you or somebody that they're into is into you okay or complimented you or talked about you or somebody's attention they want you got that person's attention all right but yeah this is the reading i really hope y'all did love it and i will see you all later but this is what is going on and what's going to happen